Hello, my little spitz whoppers and sock suckers. Today we are going to be doing a food that I got at the store today. Uh, tier list, or sort of like a ranking. God, that fridge is loud. Hold on, let me see if this works. That was loud. All right, anyways, uh, we're not, there are three items that I got at the store today that we will not be trying today. And it's, uh, Monster Energy, because I don't want to stay up. Uh, Lemon Jello, which is over there, because it's Jello. Like, I had to wait, like, 12 hours or something. And Club Crackers, because I already tried Club Crackers and watched the video. Uh, alright. There's some stuff I've tried before, and some stuff I haven't tried before. So, let's start off with Nabisco Nilla Wafers, or as it says right now, Ellen. 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 Alright. Let's get into it. Vanilla wafer. It just tastes like a very small and dry waffle. Or pancakes, because they're the same thing, just different shapes. They're really good, though. Ah, I dropped it. Very hard. Very really like hard to bite into. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, where would I put this? Actually, I'm going to try them all, and then I'll, you know, rank them. All right. In going into the drink portion, which is one drink... Would be, I put my thumb up. Would be Fanta grape in a glass bottle. Let's look at the facts here. 109 calories, 95 milligrams of sodium. Yeah. 96% added sugars. This is just sugar water. Un producto de la Coca-Cola company. This is just in languages I don't understand. Well, all right. Let's get into it. Alright, so, do you know those, like, generic brand popsicles that were orange, red, and purple? Grape, orange, and strawberry? And the grape one has a significant medicine cough syrup taste to it. This tastes like you melted that. So, uh, pretty passable soda. Not like breaking new ground or anything, but I'd drink it. Alright, let's move on to the next snack. 
honey made made with real cinnamon graham crackers. Now, I originally wanted just regular graham crackers, but they, all, they either had this or dark chocolate. We're going to be trying the cinnamon ones. How do I get this off? Oh my god. Open. Finally. Alright. Honey made cinnamon. Oh. Or. Scratchy. This tastes almost identical to vanilla wafers, but with a sort of. Hi. Do you come in here just to look at me <laughs> and just smile? Alright, anyways, it tastes exactly like vanilla wafers, but have a hint of like ginger in them at the end. Oh, good. Hi. A little more enthusiasm. Yeah. Well, that's not the point They're of the good. show. Good. I'm not Keith. You can be a Keith about it. Huh? You're not gonna have to cheat you? Well, I mean, I gotta save my stomach. You know, oh. Keith, he only eats one bite. Okay. Alright, it's just gonna sit there. All right. What should I have next? I'm already done club crackers. I'm just gonna have one. All right. Those are a lot easier to open. Yeah. So I, I I did review these already, and uh, but if you watch that video, you notice my uh, voice is significantly higher. So yeah, I was, you know, not really doing my thing there. Are you putting water in a coffee mug? I'm rinsing it out. Oh, with the coffee inside. All right. Do you have to do that while I'm making a video? This mic, this microphone is hypersensitive. It hears all my lip smacking. All right. So, since my previous Club Crackers review, some interesting things happened. Uh, and my birthday. Pretty exciting. Uh, my mother got pneumonia. Pretty depressing, but. <laughs> All right, let's try club crackers again. Salt side down. Uh, if you've ever had a chicken biscuit, very similar to that, except instead of the chicken seasoning, it's just like 100% butter. So, like butter and salt, good for you. Pasta fans, club crackers are for you. Alright. What else do we have? Oh! 
here we go. The one I'm second most excited for. Jumbo marshmallows. Huge marshmallows. They're like the size of my mouth. Let's see the white. Jeez. Oh my god, I can't get this open. You usually open the plastic things with either your teeth or your scissors. I don't have scissors on me. Yeah. Alright. That's a good enough bowl. Marshmallows. Fluffy. And kind of like a squishy baseball. Let's try it. I still had a bit of the club cracker in my mouth, so this was salty, and that's not good. I know this is made from like bones and stuff, but if bones taste like this, don't let me in here. People at the store, so I'm gonna munch on their bones. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. There's an air pocket in here. I my hands are all sticky. God dang it. I'm gonna affect the rest of the review. There's a hair in my marshmallow from me. Alright. Pretty good. They're marshmallows. Which of course are good sort of uh uneatable after like two bites because of their size i'm gonna wash it down with some more medicine oh that was a weird taste i have a marshmallow and salt from the crackers on my tongue i really think it's like super salty all right here's the thing i've eaten the most out of everything I've shown you. Please, classic. Now, if you've spent more than about 30 minutes, you know, in a room with me, you know that Lay's Classic is my favorite chip. Perfect saltiness, perfect potato-y, perfect like everything, perfect crunch. And they're like, oh, it's so bland and everything. Shut up. Probably eat macaroni and cheese without the cheese. A very baseline chip usually rated so poorly because it has like no flavor to it it's called potato chips for a reason dude like it's potato chips this is a potato chip not a potato chip not a potato drenched in barbecue sauce or pickled In the following days, this is about these chips are about to be absolutely decimated by my hands. All right, 
Time for the one thing out of all of these that I haven't tried. I want to go get stoner. Here, I'll lose my stoner face. Alright. Thing I've never tried. Chex Mix. Uh, if you recall, Ian Idubs made a video on Chex Mix, and that's what got me to buy it. So we're just gonna go ahead and open it up here. I cannot open this the traditional way. Made a very thick plastic. Let me get some scissors. back with scissors. Use your scissors back. <laughs> no. Would you like a bottle? These are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be. But, uh, you're crunching very loud. Everyone there can hear you. It's really crunchy. Yeah, they're very crunchy. I'm gonna try each piece individually. And then I'll try, you know, the big kahuna, them all together. Let's start off with the corn checks, I believe. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. 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 That's actually really good. It's just like a seasoned cornflake. I like cornflakes. Alright. Next up is the wheat checks. Not excited for this one. Ah. Yeah. It's not that bad. That's all I have to say. Alright, next up is the breadstick. I'm a little disappointed in this one having little to no flavor at all. But, uh, try the circle pretzel. But first, 
and what we gotta do. Ah! A little funny moments. Anyways. It's just an unsalted pretzel. That's all it is. Like little to nothing in there. All right, let's try the window pretzel. Mm, I'm gonna have a bit of spice on it. It's not as bad as iDubs makes it out to be. No, I didn't actually get one when I poured, so. Try the one I'm really not excited for, the rye bread chip. Uh. Hmm. Which one was the best? Probably the corn checks. Which one was the worst? Ride chip? Uh... The ride chip doesn't actually taste that bad. It's just... It's so hard to bite into that it kind of like crumbles into a million pieces in your mouth. So I don't like that. Uh... A little bit of spice on. All right, I'm gonna try and mix up all these flavors together. Put them all on a spoon. It's corn checks. Just wheat check. Ooh, it's a lot of spice on there. The Mr. Breadstick. Circle pretzel and a square pretzel. All right, let's try it. A bit of the breadstick touched the back of my throat and activated my gag reflex. I didn't know that was going to happen, so I gagged. I don't normally have a gag reflex show you. Yeah. Am I gonna do that again? No. Should you buy Chex Mix? Uh. I'd say no. Just buy pretzels and corn checks. You don't need this. Make your own spice. Alright. That's it for the taste test. So let's get to ranking. Let me get my I'll set it up on the floor. Whatever. Alright. First up, we got the worst one, which would probably be Chex Mix. I was really excited for Chex Mix. I was rooting for it. I don't know what happened, but, uh, yeah. Then after that, I'd probably put the, uh, marshmallows. They weren't that bad. They were just very unappetizing, per se. Hmm. Oh, the crackers. Hmm. Yeah, I'm confident. Honey Maid goes next. The third to last. Yeah. And then fourth to last. Nilla Wafers.
then after then it's between my two favorite snacks in the whole world. Lay's Classic Chips and Club Crackers. I should have gotten pretzels. I knew when I walked out the store I forgot something. And it was, it was freaking pretzels. I got jello though. I might try that. Oh, another thing I'm gonna try later. Oh, wait, no. I still got Fanta. Alright, let me do something real quick. Third to last is the Fanta grape, and then Honey Maid, and then No Wafers. A really tough decision. I'm gonna put Lay's Classic, and then the Club Crackers. Let's take a look at my ranking here. Oh, hold on. Let me just... Alright. I've had the Tangerine Monster before. Here's the ranking. Jack's Mix being the worst. Club Crackers being the best. Does Chex Mix deserve its low place in society? Yeah. Everything else? No. They're good snacks. Don't eat Chex Mix. Eat everything else. Alright. Now, that ends the ranking segment. Moving on to the next segment. Cooking. Here's what we're gonna do. So, if you have any critical thinking skills at all, you would know that graham crackers and marshmallows make s'mores. So that's what we're gonna make. Let me get some toothpicks from here. Hmm. these though let me roll up my sleeves here So, first attempt didn't go well. Marshmallow caught on fire. So let's that one off. Put another one on. Try better this time. Turn on right here. We're gonna go a little lower. No. Nice and toasty. Oh, we got a little bit of a burn there. That's a s'more, baby. 
that right there. That is a perfect s'more. Now I'm going to try to break the cracker in half. So I get a perfect half. Uh, all right, there we go. That's good. All right. That on there. All right. Squish it down a bit to get that extra gooiness. Ah, oh, that was a gooey one. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. That is a perfect s'more. Get my fingers a little gooey. I'm gonna stop eating. I'm gonna uh, wash my hands real quick. All right. That concludes the review. I hope you guys enjoyed this 30 minute long review. I hope every minute was worth it. Alright. Take care.